Hi there! So happy you could join us today. My name is Tom and I'll be your guide throughout this introductory course into Codex. Before we start talking about the course and what we'll actually be doing today, let's take a sneak peek into Codex. Codex is a visual development environment. It is a place where you can access your components at any stage of development and play around with them. It also allows you to test them out under different scenarios and conditions to see how they would behave. You can then edit their styles, their layout, colors, fonts, anything in a way that is very similar to other design tools. And you can bring your own component library or use any third-party library in your project. And lastly, you can make your changes in a safe, isolated manner using Git and to then get developer feedback and review on your changes. This video series is meant for designers who are perhaps a little bit more technical in their nature. We're going to be assuming a basic level of understanding in HTML and CSS and won't be covering those topics specifically. Now throughout this entire course, we'll be working on a project called Yum. Yum is a demo project that we created for a fake food delivery service that allows businesses to offer their various products and have them be delivered right to their customer's doorstep. Let's talk about our plan for this course. We'll start off by talking about Codex itself, showing you its full feature set and capabilities. We'll also discuss how it best fits into your workflow. After that, we'll show you how to set up a local working environment, installing both Codex and Yum on your local machine. Once we have that up and running, we'll proceed to fix some design gaps in our implementation, making sure that they align with our intended goals. Once we have that, we'll proceed to create a couple of brand new components from scratch, showing how we can integrate them back into the project. Throughout this entire process, we'll show you how you can bundle up your changes and send them to your developers or colleagues for them to review and provide feedback. That's it for this one. In the next video, we'll get started and show you how we can actually set up a working environment.